This demonstration video will show you how to unpack and assemble various Suzuki Digital Grand Pianos. First, place the piano box on a soft surface. Carefully slice the tape as shown. Remove the top carton box, turn it upside down and place it on the floor. Make sure the three petals are facing up as shown. Carefully slice open the box and fold back the four panels. Next, carefully remove the packing materials from inside the box. This box contains the bench, pedal assembly, three piano legs, and hardware set. Remove the packaging materials from the leg and lyre. Next, remove the three protective plastic covers from the pedals. Now, go to the main box that contains the piano and take out the packing materials. Remove the styrofoam from the inside of the piano box. Next, place a blanket on the floor. With a friend's help, gently lift the piano out of the box and place it on a soft surface. Be very careful not to scratch the lacquer finish. Next, stand the piano up as shown in preparation for attaching the legs and pedal assembly. Do not leave your piano unattended as it may fall over and get damaged. Carefully remove the protective plastic covering from the bottom of the piano as shown. You're now ready to begin installing the legs. Make sure to hand tighten the bolts first. Then finish tightening with the provided wrench. Be careful not to over tighten. Now attach the back leg as shown. Next, we'll show how to attach the pedal assembly. Go back and securely tighten the two legs and pedal assembly bolts. At this point, your piano should look like this. Next comes the pedal support rods. If you notice, one side has a gentle angle while the other side has a sharp angle. Attach the side with the gentle angle with the provided wood screws. Untuck the sustain pedal as shown. Make sure that the cable underneath is flush and well connected. Next, remove the zip tie as shown. Loop the sustain pedal cable around the right side support leg as shown. Carefully connect the sustain pedal cable. Now you still have one more leg to install. Place a folded blanket or pillow on the floor as shown, and with two people, lift the piano and pivot on the blanket. The lyre pedal should land on the blanket. Finally, with one person holding the piano in position, go under the piano and install the leg as shown. Make sure to check each nut and tighten as needed. Now remove the blanket or pillow. Carefully remove the plastic covering from the piano. Now remove the tape from the music rack and lift the music rack up. Push down the metal tabs on either side of the music rack to lock it in place. Then carefully remove the remaining tape. Now it's time to assemble the bench. Slice the box open, being careful not to push the knife down into the box. Once you've opened the box, carefully remove the protective foam from each leg. With the provided hardware, hand tighten each leg into place. Then finish tightening with the wrench. 
Be careful not to over tighten. Carefully open the key cover as shown. Slowly remove the plastic covering the keys and also remove the protective covering on the LCD screen. Next, connect the power cable underneath the left side of the back of the piano. Now, press the power button located on the left side of the piano, wait a few seconds, and let the piano power on. You're now ready to play your new Suzuki Digital Grand Piano.